So let's use Ecamm Live and go live to LinkedIn. Now we've done previous videos on going live to Facebook, going live to YouTube, and now we're doing LinkedIn. We've also done a video on multi-streaming. You can now do this here inside of Ecamm and you can go out to multiple channels, multiple platforms at once. This one specifically is looking at just going to LinkedIn if we were wanting to do that. Now, as I'm recording this, there is a, a big limitation with going live to LinkedIn from Ecamm, and that is that it won't pull the comments back in. And that's a real frustration. It means that we need to have our browser open with LinkedIn on it, or maybe our phone with the chat on there. If we're going out to multiple destinations, normally here in Ecamm, this comments and reactions window would be pulling in all of that comment from, from any of those destinations but it won't bring in LinkedIn. And I believe it's LinkedIn that are holding up from letting Ecamm have that access. So the only way currently to get around this would still be to go from Ecamm into Restream and then Restream out to LinkedIn. That still will bring in the comments from LinkedIn. But I'm sure this will probably by the time you're watching this, that will have been updated. It's just right now, it's a real frustration for me. And it's classic LinkedIn. It took us ages to be able to get on LinkedIn to be able to live stream. Normally when I, you know, if I post a live and then change my mind and delete it, all the other channels, all the other platforms, when I cancel it in Ecamm, that will delete the posts off of Facebook, YouTube, elsewhere. But LinkedIn, I still have to go to LinkedIn and manually delete it. It just always feels a bit clunky. I find that with the platform anyway. I'm not a big LinkedIn fan. Forgive me, I'm guessing if you're watching this, you are wanting to go to LinkedIn. So with all that said, let's go in and just show you how you do this. Um, you should be able to get set up now. I think it's everyone can get access and can get available here onto LinkedIn now to live stream. We come up here to um, a new destination. If you haven't been on this new version of Ecamm, you've got to make sure that up here, you start up here really clicking stream, record, virtual cam. Then new down here, we add in our destination and I've already gone through and input a whole set of destinations in here. And I'm just going to select my LinkedIn one now. If you hadn't already put this in, and most of you will have done, you click add destination down here, click on LinkedIn, and then it's asking you, do you want to go to your organization or your profile? I would always just do your profile, uh, set that up, follow it through. I've already got mine in, so here's one I prepared earlier. I'm just putting a title in here. I'm going live to demonstrate in a new Ecamm tutorial. Um, it does give me an option here to generate automatic captions. Actually, I find people saying, because Facebook kind of does this automatically, and I have people going, how do I get rid of those comments? It's typing the, the words across at the bottom of the screen as I'm talking. I believe that's what it's referring to, so I leave that off. Now, I can just go live now and we'll instantly go live onto LinkedIn or I can schedule it. I would always recommend scheduling and um, it just gives you a chance. Well, you'll see, we'll, we'll do this. We'll schedule this for now and we'll just put a title there, playing with Ecamm Live version four. I'm going live to demonstrate in and um, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? I'm going live to LinkedIn. There we go. So we've got to put a title, playing with Ecamm Live, going live to LinkedIn for a new Ecamm tutorial. It really doesn't matter because uh, no one's going to see this anyway. So when I schedule this and I've put it in there for seven minutes time, normally I would have an image and I'm going to hit schedule and here it goes. So again, it's really nice how it does this and you can have multiple lives and things scheduled up and it will just have a list of them here. But it's telling me that this one's already scheduled in. If I want to, I can click and then that would be copying the event URL. So now when I go to Chrome and I paste in that URL, this is what you could send out to people in advance. So you could be emailing this out and saying, hey, I'm going live on LinkedIn talking about this amazing topic. Come and join me. And this is what they would get. And they would be able to um, say that, yes, they're coming. They can share it out. Um, all of these cool things. I do actually like the experience of watching a live in LinkedIn. So from all my negative problems with LinkedIn as a platform, I do actually find it a nice, I like the options. I think these are laid out easily for being able to comment or do the emojis over here. I can actually comment, I can do network and I can see who's actually on. So I think it's quite powerful. And then when I come back afterwards, I can also see this chat and I can comment and join in with this too. So shall we have a look and see what happens? We've now done this, we've scheduled it out. 
We are um, four minutes ahead of time, but it will let me go live now anyway. So I can force this and go live early. And here we are. We are now live on LinkedIn. We can see at the top here, it tells me 1080, 25 uh, frames per second. We're eight seconds in. Uh, this hasn't picked up yet. Here we go. Started with a nice little cough. Um, so this is live. And it'd be interesting to try again. So um, let's just pop myself a little question in there. So as I said, look, it's coming up here and Ecamm is saying comments and reactions not available from this destination. So that's a real shame because, you know, people could be putting little love hearts down here. I don't get to see them in this. It would if I were connected via Restream. So still Ecamm through Restream and then pulling in. But um I reckon very soon this will all be connected back together. So for now, if you're going live to LinkedIn and uh, you're talking away up here, I think it's important just to keep a window open so you can see LinkedIn and you can see those comments coming through from people. Now we've run a test on the other two lives that we've done to just see the time coming through. I reckon it'd be quite interesting to just see what the delay is down there. So if I go live demo mode, we can see this screen anyway. And I'm gonna start the timer up here. And when I do, let's see when it appears down below. This looks quite a delay to me. So I'm gonna go three, two, one, start. And I wanna just catch myself as soon as that starts. Wow. It's not that accurate, but that was about 16 seconds delay. That's really interesting. So actually of the three that we've tested here, I would say that uh, Facebook was actually the quickest with about a six second delay. And I know if you're watching the live, you might say, well, I'm not seeing a delay this end. I'm not talking about that. I'm meaning from when I say something here, I've got to accept that there's 16 seconds before anybody is seeing it on LinkedIn. Does that make sense? So when I say, hey, let me know where you're from. It's going to take 16 seconds before on LinkedIn you hear, hey, let me know where you're from. And then it's going to take you time to be able to answer it and comment back to me. So yeah, just knowing that is really helpful for your own expectations. And you ask a question, you wait, you let people come on. So over here, you can see we don't have the same... Uh, I don't think there's anybody following or watching at the minute, apart from me. Yeah, it's interesting. It, it kind of fits in quite nicely to the the LinkedIn platform and how this works. I could have tagged a speaker if I were doing a live with them. We could post it out and this is all there and available to watch back afterwards. So it's a nice experience when you're on LinkedIn as the host not being able to see this. I feel, you know, LinkedIn just need to sort themselves out a bit and uh, let us be able to see this so that it's talking back to Ecamm and it becomes a nice experience like we've just seen in Facebook and YouTube. So if, when I'm ready and I want to finish this and I've wrapped up and I've gone through my the points and I've done my presentation, whatever we're doing, I come to the end here and I hit finish, end broadcast. Okay, and we're done, right? And it's done and it's finished down there. That's how we go live to LinkedIn. These are all very much the same now. It's a case of just hooking up to that destination, uh, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. And then if you individually want to just go to one of these platforms, then that's how you're doing it. Next time you come back in, it will have remembered your last setting. So it's already got preset LinkedIn. I could close that off and I can choose any other destination that I want to go to. And in my next video, we're gonna go to Twitch actually. So if you wanna watch that one, that's coming up next.